DJ Jazzy and I am back with my sister Shakira and we are going to show you a really cool hairstyle that is perfect for any occasion. Now the reason why I'm doing this type of video is because I find it so hard to find different hairstyles and not overly complicated ones to do and I personally get bored of the same hairstyle. So. I'm always looking for something new. So this hairstyle is great for school, special occasions, parties, and even when you're playing sports. So let's get started. So you don't need really long hair to do this hairstyle, but Shakira's hair is very fine, very long, and gets very knotty very quick. And what I'm gonna do, her hair's a bit damp at the moment, so we're gonna dry it out because I personally like doing hairstyles where her hair is super dry, as I find when it's wet, it gets clumpy. But um, yeah, dry it out and then we're gonna brush it and so that there's no knots at all. Now, the great thing about doing this hairstyle with freshly cleaned hair and drying it out is that if you've got a bit of curly hair and you're drying it, it does make it straighter and that is easier to do the hairstyle with. And Shakira's hair is stuck in here. <laughs> So next we're going to divide the hair into two sections because we're going to have four corners at the top which are going to lead into the ponytail. So it does depend on how high you want your ponytail and I do suggest if you're going to school or something and you have to wear a hat or you know you're going to wear a hat that day, you might want to have a lower ponytail so you can make the divide lower. But if you know that you're not going to wear a hat and you want a high ponytail, go all out and divide it right at the top and have a nice even section between both. So let's divide that. Okay. Now once we've divided this part, I'm just going to put that in front of Shakira's face. We're going to take this back section and we're going to make this the ponytail. So, as I know Shakira is not going to be wearing a hat, we are going to do a high ponytail. Now, as Shakira has a lot of hair, I'm going to have to use a thick hair tie for the back because we want this ponytail to stay secure and stay in place, I guess. going to do one more hair tie at the top just so it's nice and secure and very durable. Just going to pull that through and then give the back of the ponytail just a nice little brush. Get out those tangles. If you're wanting a really high ponytail just pull it up as high as you want. You can do it back here. Just make sure you do your part lower because you want the corners to go into your ponytail as close as possible. So now that I've done that our next step is to brush out the front section. Now that I have the back section parted and out of the way in a ponytail, we can get started on dividing the front because we're going to have four cornrows. So we need to divide the front part of the hair as evenly as possible into four sections. And to do this, let's start off with the center part and then we can work our way through there. Let's divide the part into four pieces, as even as possible. And once you've done that, just get another hair tie and just loop it off just to keep it out of the way. Here's our four parts. I didn't tie the bottom ones up in a knot because it's these ones that you've got to keep out of the way, but they're evenly spread, I hope. But um, yeah, we're gonna get started on the corners. Now this is the tricky part to do and I promise you it does get easier the more you practice. After the first one, you'll probably get the hang of it. But these are our corners, these are not braids, but braids and cornrows are very similar. The difference between cornrows and braids is that cornrows will have one blocked off section that is all the same size where braids generally do go out and cornrows will stay the same size in the, in the braids as well like in the little plait thing but um 
Yeah, they're not, they're not that much different, I guess. You wanna take a little bit of the front and then do a little bit of hairspray. Now, the reason we do hairspray is that it collects and tidies up all the little flyaways at the front. And it's an optional step, you don't have to do it. I just like to do it because it just looks neater. And you don't use a lot of hairspray, just a little bit. So you've got this little section, you've done your hairspray and you've done a little bit of brushing. You're gonna divide this part into three even sections again. So I just put my two fingers through there and we've got three different parts. Now, the two outer ones are always gonna be under, you're gonna wrap it underneath the middle one. So I'm gonna take this one and wrap it underneath that one. Then the other out one back underneath the middle. Same again. I'm gonna take this one underneath the middle one and the outer one underneath again. Okay, so this is where it gets even trickier. We're gonna have to start getting even amounts of hair into the corner. So we just pinch a little bit of hair with the outer one and grab it back underneath and tighten it as much as you can. Then we do the same with the out one. Pinch a little hair from the bottom with the outer one and back underneath. Now, it's a bit difficult, but you've got to just keep going until you can get it right and it does get easier over time. So just continue that all the way down to the back. So once you get to the back over here, just continue the plait all the way down the hair just so that it keeps it in place and pull out any and then once you do that you can just clip it to the ponytail to keep it right there so perfect I like to do the both the outside the bottom ones first and then I go into the top two so I'm gonna go ahead with the bottom one There we go, so we've got the both two sides. Now we're gonna get onto the top, so I'm gonna take this one out. And again, just repeat with all four of the sections at the top. Start with the front and corner through the back. Make sure to brush out each part of the hair each time. And this is the last corner, so basically almost done. Okay, so I'm gonna take out that clip. I'm actually going to take out the ponytail again because I'm not happy with the height of it. I want it even higher. But with this time, you can go over your ponytail, but grab the corners in, do it up at the top with all the corners in, tighten it up, and then undo all the corners that you've got mixed in with it. Make sure it's all nice. You can add extra hairspray if you want. So all I've done is just take a piece of the back of the hair and wrap it around the ponytail and added a bobby pin at the back just to tighten it in so you just don't see any of the hair ties. So if you like this hairstyle, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below any of the hairstyles that you want me to do or any comments that you have to make. Make sure to find me on Facebook, Musical.ly, Instagram, Snapchat, absolutely everything. I'll put all the links down below and send me a message, send me a photo of your hairstyle, even the hairstyle that you tried out watching this video and tell me how it went. Make sure also to subscribe and I'll see you later.